It's Hop Along Cassidy. With action and suspense, out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The ring of the silver spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hop Along Cassidy. This famous hero thrills his 60 million fans with action and dangerous adventure. In the role of Hopalong Cassidy is the popular star of the motion picture series, William Boyd. And appearing as that laughable old character, California, is Andy Clyde. Now to our story, The Empty Saddle. October has a special meaning for cowpunchers on the Bar 20, or anywhere else for that matter. The crisp nights, the bright blue sky, the red leaves on the maples and the creek bottoms are all background for the busiest time of the year, the fall roundup. So Hoppy is all business as he stands with California at the rail of the Bar 20 Corral. Hey, Jim, what you doing down there? I'm trying to get this horse in the corral over here. The darn thing won't move. California. Yeah, Hoppy? What about Ace? Uh, who? Ace Beaumont. I want him to set up a corral for the wiener calves on the flat. Where is he? Uh, he, uh, well, he, um... He ain't showed up, Hoppy. What do you mean? He was to be back last night. Yeah, I know. Uh, I was talking to the boys at the bunkhouse this morning. He rode over to Three Forks Friday, you know. And I he... know. He went over to Three Forks to see his girl. And uh, easy, Hoppy. Now, don't get sore. I've got a right to get sore when one of my best hands doesn't show up for the roundup. He's in love, Hoppy. you got to make allowances for Ace. Well, maybe so. I sure didn't like him. He's never let me down before. He knows how bad I need him now with a couple of thousand head of cattle to round up and brand. Sure, Hoppy, but Ace is young, and the minute he set eyes on Ellie Summers over to Three Forks, he couldn't hear a heifer bellowing right under his nose for the wedding bells in his ears. <laughs> Wait. Huh? Turn around. Take a look. Gosh almighty, it's Ace's buckskin. Yeah. What's the matter, boy? Where you been? His hide's all tore up. Tail uh, full of birds. Cinch came loose. Saddle dropped down under his belly and scared him. Reckon he threw Ace somewhere? There isn't a horse alive that could throw Ace Beaumont. But what could have happened? Ace knows better than leave his kite with some tide. He ain't I don't done... know, but I've never seen a time when a man's horse came back without the man that something wasn't wrong. Give me a hand with this saddle. Sure. Beats me. Hey, look at them grease spots in the saddle skirt there. That's not grease, California. Huh? Hoppy, you mean... Uh... It's blood. Yeah? This horse is all cut up from buck brush. I came across the mountain from Three Forks. What are we going to do? Tell the boys we're going to Three Forks and we're not coming back till we find Ace Beaumont. back to Hopalong Cassidy and the Empty Saddle. Ace Beaumont's buckskin horse has returned to the Bar 20, its blood-stained saddle dangling on a loose cinch, clearly telling Hoppy that something has gone wrong with one of his top hands. It's almost dark when he and California tie up in front of the Summers General Merchandise Store in Three Forks to find Ace's sweetheart, Ellie Summers, waiting on a customer inside. Hmm, she's got old Pike Peters in there. Yeah, giving him a grub stake, I reckon. Poor old Pike's the unluckiest prospect for alive. Forty years of tramping the mountains and not a strike. Well, Wait a minute. You can... Remember what I told you. Not a word to Ellie about Ace not showing up. I don't want to get her worried. Right, Hoppy. Well, Mr. Cassidy. Hello, Ellie. Pike. Uh, happy, Hoppy. 
So what's he doing here in 3-4? Just dropped by for a visit. <laughs> you see, by your partner here, he's still caring for the aged and infirm over at the bar 20. <laughs> Why, you, 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 you old pack rat. <laughs> Why, you was in the pension list four hours born. Don't mind us, Ellie. <laughs> Go right ahead with Pike here. We'll uh, wait while you're until you're through. All right. Now let's see, Mr. Peters. That was 20 pounds of red beans, uh-huh. a pound of salt, a package of soda... A side of bacon and 50 pounds of flour. Mm, comes to $4.20. Uh, you reckon you can uh, uh, put her on my account, Miss Ellie? <laughs> when are you going to make that strike, Mr. Peters? <laughs> yeah, I'm nearer than you think, Miss Ellie. And what happens when you find it? <laughs> well, <laughs> we all get rich, just like I agreed. All you nice folks who've been grubstaking me for all these years. Now, uh, well, about these supplies here. That... Go ahead, take them along. I'll put them on your account. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Ellie. Well, I'd better be running along. Goodbye, folks. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Oh, if Father were alive, he'd have a fit. Never make money that way, Ellie. Oh, I guess I'm just soft-hearted. <sighs> now, what can I do for you? Uh, we need a little hardware over at the ranch. A few nails, a couple of hundred feet of rope. A roundup coming off in a couple of days. Ace told me. Did he tell you about... Uh... I haven't had much time to talk to him. We're going to be married next month, after the roundup. Well, congratulations. Funny he didn't tell you. He said you were number one on his list. When did he get in? Uh, well... Uh, last night sometime, I guess. Uh, I was out with the riders. Didn't get a chance to see him. Last night? Yeah. Well, that must have been quite an errand he had to do. Oh? He left here before noon yesterday. You act as if something were wrong, Mr. Cassidy. Is there... Oh, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Well, we'll see you tonight, Ellie, but before we head back. Uh, you'll be home, won't you? Of course. Good. Come on, California. Bye, Miss Ellie. Hmm. So he left here before noon yesterday. Had an errand to run. Errand? Uh, what do you figure he was up to? I don't know, but it's time we took this up with the sheriff. Now, take it easy, Ma. There's no use getting all riled up just because... It's... You ain't heard me out, Sheriff. Maybe time I get through, you'll see I got reason to be riled. Oh. Well, hop along, Cassidy. Hello, Sheriff. You know California Carlson here. Sure. Howdy, California. Hiya, Sheriff. Uh, this here's Ma Strickland. Uh, runs the double dot east of here. Howdy, Howdy ma'am. How do you do? Ma figures a foreman busted his tie rope and took off without saying where. It ain't no joking matter, Sheriff Lane. Who is it? Turkey Ed Higgins, best darn ranch hand in the county. What happened to Turkey Ed? Well, if I knew, I'd run right out and put a load of quail shot in the seat of his pants. <laughs> How long has he been gone, Ma? Most a week now. I'm telling you something's powerful wrong here, and I'm asking you to get off in that chair and do something. And I'm telling you, I ain't got time to go running after every cow hand in the county when he gets an idea he wants to go to the city for a spell. Now, you trot back to the double dot and calm down. He'll show up in a day or two. Wait a minute, Chair. Huh? She's right. There is something wrong. I'm missing my best hand. Who's that? Ace Beaumont. He didn't show up at the bar 20 this morning. Okay. What about that, Sheriff? Well, wouldn't be the first time two cowpokes took a notion to go on a spree. Only Turkey Ed don't know this Ace Beaumont from Adams or Fox. Anyone see Ace around town, Sheriff? Yeah, I did. Oh, uh, uh, this is Tom Oliphant, my deputy. Howdy. 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 Uh, don't get riled up about Ace. He's all right. How do you know? I had a talk with him down at the Aurora Cafe Saturday night. Played a little poker. I know he's okay. What are you holding back, Oliphant? Spill it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sheriff. Just a little private matter. Uh, a business secret. Maybe you better talk, or maybe you'll get fired. Yeah? <laughs> uh, go right ahead, Sheriff. It's a funny thing. I ain't too worried about my job right now. <laughs> well, so long, folks. Why, that young whippersnapper, huh? Take it easy, Sheriff. Uh, California. Yeah, Hoppy? Keep an eye on Oliphant. I want to know everywhere he goes tonight. And don't let him know he's being followed, you understand? Yeah. Now, what about Parmalee over at the Aurora Cafe? What's his line? All gambling, booze, you know. Two men disappear. There's no connection between them. They don't even know each other. Both of them might have won heavily at the Aurora. Maybe this Parmalee couldn't afford to lose that much. Well, knowing Parmalee, I'd say that ain't a bad guess for a starter. Well, I still ain't convinced, but I'll go along with you. Let's have a talk with Parmalee. All right, Sheriff, all right. Turkey Ed Higgins played cards here a week ago. Ace Beaumont Saturday night. Both of them took me for a ride. Is there any law against that? Might be. If both Ace and Turkey Ed disappear real sudden. Disappear? That's right, Parmalee. So, you think I shot him down on a trail somewhere to get my money back, huh? Didn't say that at all. Well, that's what you're implying. So I shot him down in cold blood. 
And while I was at it, I did the same thing for one of my own dealers. What do you mean? Bill Hendershot. He's been missing for five days now. Three total strangers. Ed, Ace, and this Hendershot. Nothing to do with each other. Maybe Turkey Ed had uh, an enemy or two. Don't know a ranch boss who hasn't. And there might be someone who's gunning for Ace. I know half a dozen like to have Hendershot hide. Sure. But who'd have a grudge against all three? Hoppy. Oh, excuse me, folks. Did you trail Oliphant? Yeah, he just saddled up. I followed him out of town to Shadow Canyon Trail. Now, what do you reckon he's starting up into the mountains this time of night? That's what we're going to find out, California. Let's get going. Ain't much you can go further, Hoppy, with them clouds over the moon. Yeah, I can't see a thing. We might, can't, we might catch up with him, but he's too fast for us. Hold it. Something's up? Yeah, I'm not too far off. Let's go up a little farther. I ain't exactly comfortable riding this trail like a sitting duck. If that moon comes out again, we... You're ain't... right. We'll have to wait for daybreak. Uh-oh. Pack mule up ahead. Must be Pike Peters. Pike! Pike! Who is it? It's me. Hop along, Cassidy. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. Mr. Cassidy. Yeah. Say, I was, I was getting a mite nervous. Heard some shooting up the canyon. Yeah, and if you're smart, you'll stay where you are, Pike. Yeah, you heard the shooting? Yeah, I think it's got something to do with the disappearance of three men. Three men? Hey, what you talking about? We'll know more about it tomorrow. If I get my way, Sheriff Lane will have a posse up in these hills by sunup. Come on, California, let's go back. Cassidy, where in tarnation do you go? Road a ways up Shadow Canyon. How far? Far enough to convince me our three boys aren't off on a spree. Uh, I guess we're all convinced, Hoppy. We'll have a posse together by six tomorrow morning. It ain't three boys, by the way. Huh? It's four. Like I say, I'm convinced now. Oliphant's horse just showed up at the corral. Without Oliphant. <laughs> Before we continue with this exciting story, here is a word from your announcer. Back to Hop Along Cassidy and the Empty Saddle. Four men have mysteriously disappeared from the little town of Three Forks within a week. And with the last one, Tom Oliphant, the sheriff's own deputy, Sheriff Lane is convinced it's a job for a posse. Meanwhile, Ellie Summers sits alone in her house at the edge of town, waiting for Hoppy to drop by for the hardware he ordered a few hours ago at the store. It's late at night when... Cassidy. Well, it's about time you got here, Mr. Cassidy. I've been... Oh. Uh, howdy, Miss Ellie. Pike, what are you doing here? <laughs> well, I uh, uh, run on to Mr. Cassidy in uh, Shadow Canyon and figured there's uh, something you and me ought to talk over. Uh, mind if I come in? Oh, no, of course not. I've been waiting for Mr. Cassidy to drop by. You've been playing cards, I see. Solitaire. Solitaire's no game for a nice young gal like you to be playing, Miss Ellie. What is it, Pike? 
Uh, oh, well, uh, Mr. Cassidy says there's a posse forming tomorrow going to strike up into the hill. A posse? Yeah. Is something wrong? Well, yes and no. Uh, it seems there's been some mysterious disappearances. What do you mean, Pike? Uh, Turkey Ed Higgins and Bill Hendershot and Tom Oliphant, they all uh, disappeared. Oh, and one other, Ace Beaumont. Ace? Yeah. yeah. Posse's going hunting for him at Senna. Disappeared? Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, if you give it a good thank you, will. Higgins, Hendershot, <laughs> Oliphant, and Ace. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Strange, ain't it? The four men who grub stake you. <laughs> they each have a share in any gold you find. <laughs> I know you'd figure it out, Miss Ellie. Get out of here, Pike. Did you hear what I... <laughs> oh, oh. Easy now, Miss Ellie. Yeah. With this here gun in my hand, I might take a notion to make you disappear, too. Huh. Sit down now and be comfortable. Sit down. What are you going to do, Pike? Huh? Take a look at this, Miss Ellie. Huh. That's just a sample there. She run 500 to the ton, according to the assay office. 100,000 in the strike I made, maybe two. <laughs> Maybe a million. What did you do to those men? <laughs> Forty years now I've been hunting. Forty years of bacon and beans and soda biscuit. Forty years of dry camps. Tramping those mountains. Miles, dry miles with my tongue like leather in my mouth. Swole up so I couldn't swallow her. <laughs> well, I found her. After 40 years of looking, and I don't aim to share and share alike with... This, what did you do with them? Uh, well, I sent each of them a note. One by one, told them I'd made the strike and keep it a secret. Told them to ride up Shadow Canyon and meet me. <laughs> I was waiting for them, all right, with my old single shot sharp rifle. <laughs> you, you mean Ace? Ace. Yeah, that's where I made my mistake. Then Jaybird flew down and spiled my aim. Knocked him off on his horse, but the varmint crawled up on a ridge and holed up. He's up there now, wounded. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's why I dropped in tonight, huh? You're going to help me get him down. Figured with me down below holding a gun in your back, Ace Beaumont will be real reasonable. <laughs> and if I won't go with you? Uh, uh, you're coming all right. And now? You're not being very smart, Pike. Mr. Cassidy will see an unfinished solitaire game on the table. Uh, all right. Put the cards away. Now hurry up about it. I don't want to keep Ace away. What do you make of it, Cassidy? I don't know. Ellie's door open, lamp still burning. You say she told you she'd be here? Yeah. Wait a minute. What's this? Looks like Ellie was playing cards. She left the Ace of Spades face up on the desk. With this rock on top of it. Let's see it. Huh. Gold? High grade ore. Why, looks like the sample Turkey Ed showed me just before he disappeared. He showed you a sample like this one? Yeah, he got him every once in a while. He was grub staking old Pike Peters. Huh. Funny. So was Bill Hendershot. That's it. I'll bet Ace Beaumont was in on it, too. What do you reckon? It's the one thing that links those three men. They all had a stake in Pike Peters. That's what happened to Ellie. That's why she left the ore sample on top of the Ace. Ace Beaumont. Peter's got it up in, the, up in the hill somewhere. Where? But where? An army couldn't find crazy old Pike Peters in them mountains if he wanted to hide. Well, he must have had his samples tested. Go get the sheriff. Tell him California now meet him at the assay office. Oh, I just got to stop, Mr. Peters. Yeah, we ain't stopping. But I'm tired. I, I feel faint. Oh. Get up. You hear me? Get up. Let me go. You're trying to stall, are you? Yeah, I'm too smart for that, lady. Here, oh, here, where'd you get that knife? I'll kill you. Get, get, away, get away from that pack, you. Let me go of me. Stop that knife. Oh, oh, oh. That ain't a nice thing for a lady to be carrying. Somebody might get hurt. There. That's a good place for your knife. Now, now get back up in front there before I lose my patience and kill you. All right. All right, Mr. Peters. I'll go. That's 
no use, Sheriff. I just grilled Crawford at the assay office. He doesn't know where the mine is. Well, we're licked before we start. Ain't got the chance of a snowball in Hades of finding Pike Peters in them hills. California and I'll start out now. You can follow with a posse at sunup. And, uh, Sheriff. Yeah? I'll drop by your office for a high-powered rifle. Looks like I might need it. Why are we stopping? Uh, it's getting light now. I thought you might want to see the sun come up, Miss Ellie. <laughs> and in a minute or two, you'll be able to look down the valley of the art and granite cliffs next to the trail. What about them? <laughs> I'm going to give them a new name. <laughs> I got my own special name for every spot in these hills here now. I can't decide, though, whether to call them Higgins Cliffs or maybe uh, Hendershot Cliffs. Toss-up, you know. Both of them's buried at the bottom. Uh, all fan too, but I'm saving his name for later. How much longer is this to go on? Uh, are you getting tired? Yes. Yeah. Want to see Ace? Oh, please, Pike, for heaven's sake. <laughs> okay, okay. Here, whoa. Here. Stay right where you are there now. Now, don't move. I've got my 44 right on your back. Ace! Ace Beaumont! Where is he? Right below us, the cave in the rocks. <laughs> he hears me all right. Ace Beaumont! Ace, I've got your gal here. Gonna blow her to kingdom coming if you don't come out of there. He isn't there. <laughs> no, he can't move with that leg. He was there when I left him. You call. Go ahead. Ace. Ace, it, it's me. I'm coming out, Ellie. No, no, stay where you are, Ace. I wanted to warn you, dear. I wanted to... Shut up now. Here. Come out of there, Ace. I, I can't move. Throw your gun out. You hear me? Throw it out. Or I... There it goes. All right, Ellie. Go on down there. Ace. Ace, where are you? Wait, wait. Not, not too fast now. Oh. Hey. Ace, darling. Ellie. You shouldn't have come. <laughs> I didn't give her no choice. Shut up, Peters. Huh? Oh, sure. Sure, I'll shut up. You got a right to your last minutes together. You're crazy, Pike. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Huh? <laughs> Listen, Pike. Listen, you'll never get away with it. They'll comb these mountains till they find you. <laughs> so? Well, I ain't worrying none. First place they couldn't find me if they was hunting. Second place, they ain't hunting, because all of us who knowed about our little grub stake agreement is, is either over there at the foot of the cliff or right here. <laughs> Pike, Pike, listen to me. I've always tried to be fair with you. More than that sometimes. Just, just do one thing, Pike. Give us a little time, please. A few minutes. Maybe, maybe an hour. Uh, uh, now, Miss Ellie, that would be pretty stupid, wouldn't it? Sun's almost up now. Posse's starting out from three forks. Don't think they'd... Like you'd stall me that long, did you? Wait a minute, Pike. Don't do it. Pike! Oh. Ellie. What happened? A shot. It's a rifle shot from that clearing across the canyon. Huh? Pike. Pike. He's dead. Oh, wait. Ace. Oh, wait, darling. Ellie. <laughs>
Now back to Hop Along Cassidy and The Empty Saddle. It's less than a minute since the rifle shot from across the gully dropped Pike Peters at Ace and Ellie's feet. Then they see who was behind the rifle. It's Hoppy. Hoppy! Hey! Oh, Mr. Cassidy. Did I get him? You sure did. He's down for keeps. Ace! Ace! Boy, how are you? Okay, California. I got a bad leg, though. I, I can't move. Let me take a look. Mm, yeah. Might be broken just above the knee. Looks like you're going to miss the roundup. Yeah, and you're mighty lucky you didn't miss more. If it wasn't for Miss Ellie here... Ellie? Or... What do you mean? What, didn't she tell you? Mr. Cassidy. You're going to have to go some to outsmart your wife, Ace. She thinks pretty fast in the clinches. What is this, Ellie? I'd never have found you if Ellie hadn't used her head down below just before Pike left the trail. When we tracked that old varmint up the mountainside like a monkey climbing a rope. Well, tell me, what did you do, Ellie? Oh, it wasn't much, Ace. I just jabbed a knife in that 50-pound sack of flour on the back of Pike's pack mule. <laughs> Goodbye from Hoppy in California until next time they ride out from the Bar 20 for more adventure and excitement. Hop Along Cassidy is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White Jr. The Empty Saddle was written by Harold Swanton. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. <laughs> <laughs>